Hello everyone, I'm Lindsay Stein, the Consumer Reporter at PR Week, and today I'm joined by the new head of PR for a company that has made hits such as Shrek, Kung Fu Panda, and Madagascar, DreamWorks Animation. Thank you for being with us today, Allison. Thanks for having me, Lindsay. So, Allison Rawlings, before this, where were you? Uh, before this, I was Director of Communications at the Geffen Playhouse in Los Angeles. It's a fantastic regional theater that produces new works and musicals and all sorts of wonderful pieces of art. Great, and um, when did you join DreamWorks Animation? I've been here about six weeks, so mostly brand new. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Um, what attracted you to DreamWorks? DreamWorks is one of the amazing brands, as you as you said, and, and uh, when I heard word that they were looking for a new head of PR, I kept meeting with people at the company, and every person I met with seemed the best at what they did and incredibly smart and incredibly at the top of their game and I thought there was a tremendous amount for me to not only learn from them but hopefully uh, for me to contribute to the community there so it was a, a challenge for me coming from the nonprofit arts into a studio environment but I felt like it was a good point in my career to uh, take that challenge so yeah and you have some agency background experience so I do you get to mix that in I do I was at Conan Wolf in Los Angeles uh, for about four years before joining the, the theater so perfect yeah it's a good mix of the agency world the arts world uh, as well as the branding world, which is a big part of what I what I did at Conan Wolf, uh, where I learned it, and then was able to kind of implement at the Geffen Playhouse. And DreamWorks is pretty busy this year. They have the new movie Crudes coming out, mm -hmm. um, and then a game with Rovio. We do. So beyond that, what are some of your goals for DreamWorks? Well, DreamWorks uh, is primarily currently known for all of its movies, as you mentioned, and our franchises. But we're at a point right now, uh, next year we're going to be celebrating our 20th anniversary. Oh, wow. So we're at a point right now where the films are just the beginning of our stories instead of the ends of our stories. And for me, I think there's a huge opportunity to kind of get more uh, credit as a brand, not necessarily only related to the films that we're releasing, but one of my big goals is to really uh, raise awareness of what DreamWorks is doing outside of our movies and how we're helping to make our movies take the next step, whether it be into television or into games or licensing in theme parks. There's a lot that we're doing as a brand uh, that we haven't had the infrastructure to get credit for yet. So that's hopefully what I'll be doing. And Kurds is um, opening on March 22nd mm -hmm. in New York. It, well, it's opening everywhere. everywhere. It's opening uh, <laughs> all across the United States on March 22nd. We're here this weekend oh, for the premiere, which is in there New York. There you go. And um, before that, Rovio is launching into their first original game, was it? Why don't you tell me a little bit about that? Uh, yeah, uh, one of the things we're doing with the Crudes is a great partnership with Rovio. Uh, they are the creators of Angry Birds, for, for those who don't know that. Uh, and this is their kind of first original non-Angry Bird property game. Uh, since then, it's a strategic hunt and gather game that's taken from our, that's inspired by our characters in the Crudes. And that launches uh, March 14th everywhere. You can download it on iOS and Android, and it's a strategy game um, that's free to download. And the, the hope is, is that it will have the same addictive qualities as, uh, as the, its predecessor, and that it will uh, encourage people to engage with our characters on a gaming platform, and then obviously come to the theater and check them out. Um, the animation is very different. The game animation is kind of a 2D stylistic oh, cool. um, a depiction of our characters and the idea is that you'll get, it'll whet your appetite to go see the real thing in 3D in theaters on March 22nd. Perfect, and it's for Android and iOS? Mm -hmm. Great. Well, we look forward to seeing it. I look forward to playing it. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks so much for being here. Thanks so much, Lindsay.